forward and upward. CGB going for four wins. had a little like a, a little butt clench in one of our matches. Someone cast a what was it? The um, big green spell. The big green storm the festival. And he was just like, oh my god, they're gonna get like a ren and sit a ren and a bunch of. I'm like, no, it's limited. They're gonna get like a land and a barely playable, and that is exactly what happened. I've never seen a. I've never had storm the festival cast against me that didn't get a chariot and a ren and set. <laughs> so yes, I clenched my butt. I have no <laughs> no regrets, no shame saying that. And yes, they got a land and some three mana aura, and they got destroyed. It, <laughs> and then they flashed it back and it was even worse. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> so I guess I found what's good about limited, you know? <laughs> Sometimes they don't have it. In my experience is they always have it. <laughs> we live in very different magic worlds. Mm. 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 I'm, I'm crouched up because in one of the videos from today, someone said that I was a little quiet in the background. So I'm like scooched. You've also got your projector voice really I, going. I, I do. It's very That's impressive. True. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. Like, see, see on the levels, like you're getting right up where I get. So you're you're nailing it. It's like I do this for a living or something. You do it a lot more than me. My voice is weak. Hmm. It's a bit slower, but I mean, it's lands and spells. Hard to get rid of. We go first. I like it. I would keep. Okay. I'm greedy. We almost got rolled by that red black deck when we didn't have a play but on turns, didn't. turn three and four. Yeah, we stabilized, it was okay. <laughs> we stabilized behind a one mana one one. Okay, well you can't draw any more lands though, that's the thing. Okay, I'll, I'll try to knock it off for you. I'll try to cut it out. It's a bad habit I have. I, I would appreciate it. Wow, they're very aggressive. Woof. What is this? You used up all your good luck in drawing two out of a hundred cards multiple games? Look, I'm sorry to let you down, but at least our opponent's doing nothing oh, but snarling you. at us. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm, I'm okay. okay to just play your your four drop here. And then we're gonna go into Horde, which is a, a stable board. I'm scared. That 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 wolf has been uh, has been uh, pushing us around. Hmm. Okay, what that is card's that? pretty good. It gives death touch to uh, like tapped creatures. So I think we just take this. Each tapped creatures you control. Tapped creatures have death touch. Untapped creatures have hexproof. Uh huh. I guess. We, we leveled them. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, we have no removal. Yeah, there is none in the deck, like actual zero. <laughs> Who plays blue-black without removal? Us. <laughs> so I think the play here is to just slam Horde and pass. Yeah. I think we kind of have to. Okay. Still don't have anything to trade for this, but... Okay, yeah. Maybe the next turn we transform this and it's dealing in that respect. I don't know what's happening though. I don't. I don't feel like I know where we're going. Well, it's limited, so we just kind of go where the wind takes us. Out there, on the breeze, like the intro to Forrest Gump, just a feather blowing around on the wind. I hate it. As a control mage, I like. I like knowing my destination. I like knowing the end game of endless torture for my foe. Take Does it. this didn't change anything? Okay. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Hey, that's not bad. It's the closest Ooh, thing I've got. That's great. So we can't do both. We can't deluge and wave, but we could technically, is the ability on the uh, Fang a tap ability or how does that work? So pay one and tap this to... Untap another, another creature. creature. So it gives something hexproof. So we could bounce that in response. And they could lose death And they touch. lose death touch and we can eat the thing. And they've been playing all their stuff pre-combat. So I think maybe we just play the Awakener. Ooh, I like where you're going. And then we'll, we can also sack a zombie with the Geist mm -hmm. Wave, draw a card, eat some things. Mm -hmm. It feels pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Let's hope they just play out all their stuff again. There's a trap lurking. Do they know? 
The amount of tanking we did definitely shows we have a trap. <laughs> okay, so that's a thing. Wait, how does this work? At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if your life total is greater than or equal to the last noted life total, then... Okay, so we have to damage them each turn, basically. Unless they... If they don't play a spell, we don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is probably fine. Mm. So I would just let them go to combat and see what happens. What are you gonna do? They have opponent? no mana either to tap... To do the untapping thing. Not that we would care. Yeah, we're planning on bouncing the, the Viper Fang, right? Because that's yep. the thing that doesn't have Hexproof, and then these lose Death Touch and we get good blocks. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think Come that's on, the baby. Oh, okay. okay. So here, do we just want to trade the Awakener for the 4-4? Four -four? Or we could just bounce the 4-4 four -four and call it good, but then we don't have a good idea for the Wolf. Right. I, I like saving the bounce. I can get more out of it. Um. I mean... See. It has we, death touch. We what can't it, double block. But we could bounce this and it loses death touch. Yes. Is that worth it? Possibly if you want to save the Awakener. And then you want to put either the Sage or the Horde Zombie in, into the yard. That's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just trade for the Awakener. Let's be patient. Patience is a win con, as my chat knows. That's a good card. Nice and easy. Yep. If we pass, we just draw a card, right? Yeah, I think that that would be good. I think it's a loot, so we might want to start saving a land or two. I'm not sure. No, it's not a loot. Yeah, so we just pass, probably. You can't do a ping damage with a zombie, but it's probably worth it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like this. Ooh, I'm drawing a card. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they drew a card too. Because we didn't damage them. I th oh, I thought it had to be greater. It doesn't? It, apparently not. Oh. Uh, greater than or equal to. Okay. Got, yep, got us there. So we probably do need to start being a... Oh, so, so zombie can help us ping them down each round. Yep. We can do that next time. I don't know. I'll take a... I'll trade a card for a card. We have more mana. We probably have decent card quality. Okay. Do you think they have a trick? They could. It takes their whole turn. So it has death touch. Mm-hmm. So you're okay with Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just making sure you're you're ready to commit. I'm committed. Alright. I'm I'm going for it. What? So they don't want to lose their thing, they're gonna kill your thing instead. Fine? We, do you want to bounce I do. yours and draw I do. another card? Yeah, I, I like really this. do. I like this. Come here, baby. Come back to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> we do need to get some damage in, though. We're gonna uh... we're gonna flip. No, we don't flip day night because it's their yeah. turn. Yeah. That's. But if they play something here, that flips it. That's a pretty good card, I guess. Blocked by a creature the two or less. I guess this still blocks it. Yeah. We are going to need to come up with a game plan. They're going to draw a lot. Yeah. So are we. I don't think I counter this. I think I'll find something better. I don't think we counter it either. Okay. Um. Oh, well, so the... Maybe it's the Siege Zombie and the Arrogant. Because that thing kind of drains. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll stop them from drawing a card next turn. But they've got this. So how do we get the Arrogant through it? it? It doesn't. It just clicks on them. Their creatures have Hexproof. They don't, right? And that, that, that just does each opponent anyway. It's not targeting. Yeah, they just block it, though, right? No, no, we don't. It's going to just... Each oh, and it enters the battle. So we're going to play a zombie, tap, ping them, and then... Read the card, CGB. Got it, got it, got it. Look at the cards. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to deck ourselves. Be careful. <laughs> Let's go. I'll die as I lived, decking myself. <laughs> so... You're saying we play Siege to Zombie, we drain them, and we play Outlaw and drain them for two more? I think so. And we shut down their card draw. I think so. Okay, I like it. And then try to hold open some counter magic? Yeah, yeah we have enough mana to do that. Oh, 
outlaw. We don't have enough mana to do that. You already played a land? Oh, nope. no, you didn't. Great. I did not. I'm a slow roller. Okay. This looks good. <laughs> Still don't know quite how we're going to win, but we got to find our flyers, I think. We also want to cast the horde again to get rid of that 4-4 that's going to come down. Mm-hmm. How many cards do we have in our library? You're so worried about that. It's fine. This is fine. We got half our deck to go. Oh, yeah. Snap counter that. Heck yes. Flip that switch. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And then I would probably eat their whatever card next round. You're talking about hoarding their graveyard. Yeah. and I, I got you. I think I would trade here. What do you think? I mean, he's done, he's done his job, right? Yeah, he's done his job. Okay. And we have Crawl from the Grave, so we want something good to get back. And we have Card Advantage, so we want to trade. Yeah, I yeah. like it. And we have Memory Deluge just waiting to stack our library. Oh! Oh, it's so, it's so good. See, if this is my channel, then we would just talk about how inappropriate this is getting. This is getting beautifully inappropriate. So we need them to not have the same life total, so we definitely need to Siege Zombie on our turn. When it enters the battlefield, note your life total. At the beginning of each upkeep, draw a card if your life total is the, the last noted. And it's noted at 18? So at the end of each turn, it notes. Okay. And then if they're still at 18, whatever their last noted thing is. Oh, wait, wait. We can do that, right? We can, but you should probably do it to the, the guys that can't block. Because we're going to play... That's what I'm doing. No, but we're going to oh, play the Oh, that's right. This makes... I forget. I, I forget what these cards do. Got you. Got you. I got you. Well, well said. Well said. And now we can boop boop on the little guys. Give me that. Yep. And, and what are they most likely to get back? Uh, Guess this. They, they don't... can't get much back in these colors. Oh, they can get back a two or less with what that uncommon. We saw it last yeah, game. Yeah, so kill that oh. maybe. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget to boop boop. Yay! All right, this is looking great. We're not so bad. Doing it, guys. We're doing it. Siege Zombie coming to the to help us out here with the Sigurda Splendor. Oh my gosh. Just keeping this in check. Ooh, we can actually ping end of turn too, so now next turn we won't even have to if we don't want to. Just keeping it rolling. Oh, what's this do? 3-3 three, three, Coven. Uh creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Oh. Is that a counterable? They're getting to where they almost have enough mana to pay for this. Yeah, I mean, I could see countering that. Okay. And also, like, we, they won't likely have anything worse with just three or four mana. So. Yeah. Our, our, our board is so decayed right now. What's this do? Enters a battlefield, attach it to a creature, plus two, plus one. Okay. That's okay. That's they fun. can't really attack us, because we have a ton of damage coming back with the zombies. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh god, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so much torture. CGB's having too much fun. I got an arrogant outlaw. Um, so probably just siege zombie hold open deluge, you think? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Siege zombie hold open deluge. We get three pings here, and also we, we pinged them. We need to ping one more time here. Yep. Still don't have a great attack, but we're just draining them to death. Yep. I mean, that's the magic you wanted to play. It is. <laughs> we're running four counterspells in daily. Actually, we can crawl here. We could, but I'd rather crawl back the horde. Like if it dies? Yeah. I don't know. I want to I wanna sing Wanted Dead or Alive when, and get this outlaw. <laughs> or, or the one one is actually I don't think we're close tempted. enough to lethal yet. Okay. And there okay. is a white board clear. So you're always talking sense into me. I just want to do nonsense. Well, you know, if you'd like. I got them content plays, baby. I got them content plays. It also gets me killed, especially in limited. Notoriously. <laughs> yes, Innocent Llama. I agree. Outlaw is, is worse than the other one. Candle Trap. What's so that, that one do? exiles if they have... Um, they coven. Can, yeah, they can exile it if they have Coven. They don't have it right now. So they, they do not. So I, I would probably just let them have it. Yeah. Okay. Also means they can't attack me. 
that makes a coven? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't they have the coven, same power. But it makes another creature. I'm tempted to counter it. You, you counter that? I mean, it is annoying. I, I guess not. I don't know. I could deluge here. I'm, yeah, let's deluge. Yeah. I'd rather look at seven cards and pick two. That's like most of your deck. <laughs> when does this thing... Oh, it dies and creates a Reachy. Yeah. Okay. It's a cool spider. <laughs> Don't forget. Yay! Pew, pew, pew. Siege Zombie is a machine gun, It baby. is. It really is. I think people really underestimated how quickly the tokens would add up. Ahem, <laughs> Yanks. We argued about Siege Zombie during the set review. The risk of doing a set review. You might be wrong. I think it's Corp. Cobble. Is it Larder too? You can take the Larder. I mean, I, I would rather just ping them personally. I, I mean, milling myself sounds so fun when you're worried about me decking. I would, I would take the Death Touchy. Okay. Bat Whisperer. Bat's great. Awesome. Um, so we probably just ping them, play bat, hold open counter. You got it. Do I have enough to hobble as well? You yes, do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it all. It is an obnoxious. It does have hexproof. I guess we're just pinging them to death, and we don't care. Yeah, I mean, I think next turn we could probably just alpha, and they're dead, right? Probably. Because we can ping for one. To three more damage, take them to 11. They block the three biggest things. They take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I mean, it's, it's so much damage. The amount of not attacking I get to do is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to convert him into a limited player. <laughs> I mean, if I could do this all the time, I might. The thing is, they always end up serving me the the pick pack one pick one tovalars, and and then you just ditched it. It was fine. Yeah, yeah, aggressively, because of memory deluge. I never would have done it without deluge, though, and that's not going to happen very often. Streamer luck. <laughs> it took my favorite card in the set to get me into what I really wanted to play. Are we missing any kind of a lethal here if we made a big menace? I don't think so, right? I think it's lethal regardless, right? Yeah, I think so. They don't have enough blockers in we any way. We could have just sacrificed the horde, I guess. I would just send them. Da -da 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 -da. What can they do? We just counter whatever. If they have like a life gain or something. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Flash wolf. No. <laughs> Shut it down. Get that out of here. <laughs> um, also, when you're, we should hold it just in case it's not lethal. We should hold full control and cobble up all your your yep. uh, decay tokens before. Already did it. I got the stops. Nice. <laughs> Just, you know, in case we want a giant menace monster, if there is to somehow be another turn. You can actually do it multiple times, too, to split your targets, which would be kind of cool. Oh, we're... Uh, yeah. In fact, we can cast... Yeah, we can cast it and flash it back. Well, they're dead, though. Yeah. think so. We can see the results of the damage, too, and still have time afterwards to activate. <laughs> Four O, let's go! This is gonna be the longest YouTube video ever. We don't have a real win con. All okay. This is more win cons than I ever have in my standard decks. <laughs> Look at all these two twos that can attack. Once. <laughs> that, you know what? I'd find a way. It, tilt is the win con. Patient or patience is what we call it. Patience yeah. is the win con. It's true. <laughs> Attention fans of MTG Nerd Girl, CoolStuffInc.com is partnering with her on a special limited edition all metal soldier token. This is a one time only production run with each token individually numbered and totally unique. But that's not all. 10 lucky customers will also receive a free super rare alternate art version. Pre-orders are only open for a short two week window. After that, they'll never be offered again. Don't miss the chance to pre-order your unique token today. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Oh my gosh. 4-0? Bronze? Bronze is getting destroyed. <laughs> they had no idea they were coming to the dojo today. 
There are some predators lurking in bronze, man. Just, they don't play that often, and then they show up, and they've got all their fundamentals. They've got years of talent built up. Or they got natural-born ability. Some people have all of that. <laughs> Later all day, Leet all day. Thanks for being here. Thank you everybody for being here, of course. For, good God, a limited CGB stream. Woo. What has the world come to? Sippy cup in hand. Streaming limited. My God, it takes so long to finish a beverage in these things. How do I do it? Look at that. Every time. We've not mulliganed once. That. I have smooth like butter. <laughs> <laughs> Got mana like no other. Oh my god. And you just draw Deluge every time. It's literally either in your opening hand or your first draw every time. Yeah, we get down like that. Break it down. <laughs> How, how much alcohol is at the sippy cup? So if we're at CGB's house, there's no alcohol in the sippy cup. That's if right. we're at my house, it's just tequila. Straight tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty strong sippy cup you, get, you got hooked up with over at your place. Perfect mana. No good attacks. No. Nope. Um, stay on curve? I think so. Okay. It'll be good when we draw the zombie. Their deck seems good so far, but both those cards are really good. Yeah, and looks like their coven is coming right along. They need six mana for this? Ugh. We might not be able to kick back and do nothing and win. Oh, they have three colors? Wow. Oh, we're paired up, that's why. They drew Tron. Yeah. Silver gaming? That's that's crap. We're paired up. That's crap. Too strong. The hell is this? Stuff we need removal for, which we don't have. What? What kind of a hand is this? Busted. And then busted. They're not even attacking. They're not even afraid. Like, like no respect. None right. whatsoever. What are we doing? I think we're just playing the scoundrel. I think. Yeah. We could play like the occultist and hold open the cobble if they have removal in black, but I would probably just play that, yeah. Okay. Flanking. Ninja flanks. Whenever it becomes blocked, each creature gets minus one, minus one. That's totally flanking. It's 100% flanking. Do you remember flanking? I do remember flanking. They got the Celestis. I wanted to draft the Celestis. Oh. They took the Celestis. I'm sad. That makes me sad. They now have things that draw cards on the board, and I'm jelly. Oh, you have Deluge in your hand. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, but theirs does it for free. It makes mana. <laughs> It's very uns unsatisfying. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're, they're, they're gonna rumble? That's a trick, right? What trick it is this? It has to be a trick, I think. But I would still offer options with the uh, with the angler. Like that? Yeah, I'm sure there's a combat okay. trick, but I'm okay with trading a half of the angler for that. So they have a way to get it back? Maybe they do. They just like attacking that way? Okay, they can't stay away. That's the play. So now we just hoard the can't stay away, probably. Oh, yeah. I like, yeah. They're, they don't have very many cards. It's gonna be like our saving saving thing here, I think. And they don't have great attacks, but the uh, the mentor can become quite a problem later in the game. So we do. Oh, uh, this thing again? Man, I'm sure Rhyme. wish we had. Well, no, no, we level that thing all day, right? We don't care because no no targeted removal. <laughs> So their stuff all has death touch. Yeah. We I think we can profitably double block on the uh, mentor because we kind of do want to kill that, right? So I, if we double block, it's still just a one for one, which isn't great, but it's fine. On the, on which one? On the one the five mentor because it uh, only has one power. So death touch will kill. It's one for one. So that's an option. Why don't we race them? Yeah, you think? That's a lot of damage. One, and two, they three, have four, five, six, seven. It takes their whole turn to pump. It's just that we have a good amount of damage coming back, and they probably don't block. We only have two, one creature really coming back, right? This one. This they can't. They could block, and this can't really attack. 
think they'll be afraid. Okay. Take but it I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, I believe in you. So you would do this. Probably. Yeah, they only kill one. Yep. Their last card, though, probably going to get us. You can race them. We also have the Occultist coming down next turn. We could Deluge for the land and an Occultist or something. I think we... And we have Cobble to trick them. Yeah, I think we wait. I All think right. we wait. All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay, the last card was not a trick, just another good card. I think we just attack with the Scoundrel, given the Candle Glow Witch. I think so. But now we know they don't have a trick unless they top deck it, and if they put all their mana into this, we can Corpse Cobble something together. Yeah. The question is, do you play the Occultist? I would, to block yeah. the Commando. I was going to play Cobble, Occultist, and Angler. Yep, I like this. Okay. So, this will grow. Okay! All right, it's gonna get spicy. Gonna get real spicy real fast. Opponent's pretty happy to jam so far. Like, they, they like attacking. Yeah. And the attacking, like, everything having death touch is a tilt. Yep, that card is good in the right deck, to be sure. This thing having trampled death touch is gonna be scary, but they're not using it. They're digging. They transformed my Marauder. Mm hmm Which is helpful. But they're gonna get to to loot, so. You get a life. Remember when we insulted people by saying get a life? <laughs> <laughs> that was a while ago. Hey, get a life, man. And then like they Date say, yourself a little they bit. said that to nerds, right? And now, look at the nerds. We got the best life. Oh no, they have flying. Yeah, they do. Rut row. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> this is fine. So we could do blocks first, and then if they have a pump spell or some sort of trick, then we can cobble like the zombies with whatever they're tricking. It's possible. I don't think they got it. So they would have attacked. Like they didn't. They attacked for this last time. They didn't this time. I agree. They're scared. So the question is: Is do you want to cobble first and block with something you've cobbled? Which I think probably not. Yeah, I would die to the death touch. I would say like probably board on the two three something like that and then the uh, cultist on the that yeah and then that's it uh maybe you could one one for the one two yeah maybe it's, it's sketchy they are down uh how so this is a two two there's a one five they're gonna have cap coven anyway if we don't kill something else yeah let's make that trade i think it's got death touch we're gonna have to answer it eventually kind of yep I don't think we're winning the race. We might now. This actually looks pretty good for us. Doesn't look terrible. We'll be up in cards. And then we make a 4-4. Four four. I, I didn't expect, you know, three creatures for three creatures out of that spot, so... Yeah. Sweet. That's definitely not a bad trade for us. So you want to... Yep. I think that's right. I think we need to have this threat because they can't block it without risking the fang. They can pump plus three plus three, so we are going to need to find something. We do have a bounce spell the Deluge would be pretty cute. Yeah, we might be able to pull it. So now are you going to try to race with the Marauder and the 4-4? I think we have to. Okay. This is one, two, three. They could this has to stay witch. home anyway. Keep in mind they can untap the witch. But it won't have death touch then. No, it won't. And if they double block there and lose the witch, they lose Coven. Yep. 
So we attack with these. We can cobble the 4-4 four four into another 4-4 four four to block. If we had to. Yeah. Or something even bigger. This will become a 4-4. Four four. Which means I can't block with a snake, probably. Yeah. Which is fine. So do we just hold open co uh, cobble and deluge here? Yeah. This is some big damage. Now it's looking like a decent race. Yeah. We're in this. We can also hit the bounce spell with the deluge would be cute. So we'll see what they play here and see if there's a, an, a reason. Yep. Oh, this is a sweet one. Come on. We got him at eight. They're, that's got to be good for yeah, us. Yeah, that's got to be really good. They're transforming us again. But they only have two mana. They might it might just go back tonight if they don't play a spell. That's right. They don't have the mana to use the pump, of course. No. Oh, man. I mean, if we just cobble in another menace. See what I don't happens think here. we need to. I, I would probably deluge first if it were up to me. I don't know. Because if you cobble in another menace, they could still double block one, and they're still yeah, not block dead. One. No, this they are right now, right? How? If we make a four-four menace, they can only block one of them. And then they take eight. And then they take eight. Okay, which is, which so we need dead. to find another point. So I would deluge. See what we get before deciding on stuffs. Wait, this is another point. Whenever a creature blocking it dies, its controller loses one life. That's true, it, but they won't block that probably. Uh, but that's true. Yeah. Okay. It's a five. Yeah, it goes for five. Okay. So I think we are cobbling the but blood. But if they play a creature, I think we have to, if then it then it doesn't switch. Yeah. So then we memory deluge. Okay. Then we memory deluge. So interesting. So if they play nothing, oh, okay. It could also be like a removal too, which would scare me personally. All right. We're going to deluge then. That's not bad. Yep. And that's the other one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. And we got a flyer. Some, some, got a good turn here. We have enough for the zombie and the horde which is really aggressive. But, I mean, we should be aggressive. I think we attack with both the big guys. Yeah, this is a bad attack because they just yeah. jump it, but they can't do that to either of these. And then we play these two, and we've got some drain and some, some blocks. We have two good blockers. They, they don't have to block here. They could go to one. Yeah. If we're at eight with three blockers, I don't think they can steal this, right? They can give death if touch they go to plus one, three, we just play but they can't. The, this thing and kill them. Oh, you Oh, that's so slick. So I think we just attack Oh, that's her. so slick. Yeah. And hope they go to one and think that maybe they can, like, kill us on the crackback or something. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. Please because let that this happen. this pump gives trample, too. Yeah, it does. So I don't know if they're going to be willing to risk anything. A little tramp touch. A little tramp touch? <laughs> you don't say that? You know, is that, is that, is that Tram an exclusive yeah. over here? Tramp touch is... A little is, tramp touch? Is spot on. I say uh, flample. <laughs> For flying trample, but yeah. I've never said tramp touch. <laughs> oh, they're they're not going for they're it. They're not going to one. <laughs> That's okay though. I mean, I think if they're chumping here, yeah, they'll be broke. Yeah, they're in big trouble. And I think we still go with the same plan. Order and siege zombie, yeah. not the flyer. I don't think so. Okay. Man, they were out they were out so much ahead of us in this game. They were like they had so many creatures. I was like, what the hell is going to happen? You return from dinner. Welcome. <laughs> We've got a first time chat from a viewer who loves my YouTube content. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. All right, so now we just need to not die. They can pump once for plus three, plus three, and trample. Yep. And they all have death touch. This so, one does not. 
other tapped creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to be very careful. Mm-hmm. Well, we, I think we just have to block here, here, like... Yeah, whichever one they... So, one damage, every blocker is the same. So yeah. we should put both blockers here in case there's some trick, right? To absorb more trample damage. Mm -hmm. And we should just put a good blocker here. Yeah, there shouldn't be a trick, though, because I think it takes all of their mana, right? How yeah. much does it cost? A uh, six. So, so, I mean, I know, but they, what about, the, like, the white plus there, there two plus the, oh yep. lifelink? Mm -hmm. I just don't want... I want to take as little damage as possible. Is yep. that reasonable? That is reasonable. Because I think we're going to win after this. Yep. Okay. That's the worst case scenario, and if they have it, then we still win. Mm -hmm. I came here from the Jund Werewolves YouTube video. Oh, you just missed it. The Jund, the Wolves Avenged. Oh, we, oh, I, was, I thought we were dead. I was like, we forgot to block no, it. No, this doesn't <laughs> yeah, have death touch, dead. so it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a second, it looked unblocked. I was just like, Peep. Yeah, yeah, it, it's scary. They might think it has death touch, but it don't have no death touch. They did just good game us. They did good game us. And they're gonna be like, why? Why they no die? Let's could, see. Could mean Do they anything. hover over their thing? No, they. Don't. Sweet. We beat the pair up, baby. Hey, oh. mm. Man, these games are long. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> you, yeah, you like unlimited? Uh -huh. I'm down. I'm down. Superior I'm down. format? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I still it seems like I only anytime I try to play limited without you it, it doesn't go this way. <laughs> Just a lot of rage and salt and anger. Gold. Who? <gasps> Gold. Oh, what is this? How do you do it every time? <laughs> it's a perfect little average hand from uh, the one invested one. If you get deluge off the top, I. Where to Jiminy Christmas? I'm gonna call Wizards and complain that my account is not whitelisted the same as yours. You probably should anyway. Okay, it's not daily. Not, <laughs> not yet. Not <laughs> yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. I could bring the dog. You know, there are some people who ask about my dogs every stream. You know, like every stream. I just wonder if they woke up this morning going, God, I wonder how those dogs are doing. People ask for Hammy all the time, but yeah. I say I don't want Hammy to eat my green screen. Uh, legit. I, I don't want my dogs to eat my whole room. Like, labs labs like food. Okay, so blue-white's a good deck, and we are paired up, so we'll see how this goes. Mm-hmm. But this mm -hmm. is a good deck. I might have been able to get away with a cheeky attack there. No, but what you could do is we could corpse cobble. Yeah, and make a 2-2 two -two menace. Make a... Yeah. Well... Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Okay. Why not? And we get to redraw, which is nice. Yeah. Like, we don't want this around. No, we no, it, have... it isn't a 1-1. One, one. I was going to do both. Isn't it power? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Is Corpse Cobble power or defense? Uh, X is the power. Yeah. We got 1-1 one, one mess. So you said a 2-2 two, two at first. So that's what oh. I thought. Oh, sorry. Oh, but this worked out well. Yeah. I just want to hit my land drop. I want to go ninja mode. See? You did not know that was going to happen. I, I totally knew You that even was said 2 2. Yeah, no, this is obviously right. Obviously perfect. Okay. Um, uh, and there's the battlefield. You may turn another so May. The, so, so they're, they're going to block. They're going to double block. Do you, want, do you want to do anything about it? Well, we could dissipate it. We could also bounce. Um, I would dissipate it just because we have no way of dealing with the flyer thereafter. Sure. Suck it. Hopefully, they don't have another creature and we still get to Bat Whisper next turn. Hopefully. Guys, I see the matrix. We've established this. I always I always know. I look in I look into their digital soul and I just know. Like I know they're they're missing lands. <laughs> I wonder if they'll double I mean mm -hmm. Also against that deck, I think we might want to hold the horde, which seems weird. Mm. But I don't know if we have much of a choice. I think maybe we just play it and try to be the more aggressive. You want me to gamble with this? You want me to turn it sideways? I I don't think I would have made it, so I'm going to let you make the call on that. <laughs> They'll definitely block, right? Like, like gold? Come on. They're they're not going to... You, you, you can't bluff gold. You can't bluff gold. 
Personally, I would just play the horde and then yeah. possibly rebounce it later. Yeah. If we need it. We're hoarding it. Plus, we have another one. We're hoarding it. That's what we... We came here to play a five drop while they're stuck on three lands. That's what we're going to do. Oh, okay. I'm learning to hate this card. That card is scary. Seems like so much stats. It's insane. And they have Coven now? That's just cheating. Yeah, that's less that, than ideal. That's blatant cheaterism. Okay. Now I'm wondering if we bounce the 4 3, we can get in with the Horde. Oh, we don't have another mana. If we hit the mana, oof. That's... I'm keeping that. Yeah, I think we do. Decline. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get that wrong. We, Geist Wave's still very playable this turn, though, because yeah. we hold up flip and then we counter it on the way back. Yeah, and then we can attack again next turn. Yeah. So, yeah, Geist Wave on the 4-3. Choke up all their mana. Yes. And then we can attack with the Menacer and the 3-4. Yeah. We have, we have good blocks on the way back, but we don't have a good block for the 3-3. Three, three, but We don't need one. It's fine. It's fine. We can take some damage. Life is a resource. We got this. That's true. We got this. We're a racing gamer's Demir deck. <laughs> We've actually pulled off some pretty cool races. Yeah, no, we deck. definitely have. The Horde, I told you, Horde was the best common in the set. Yeah, you're probably right. Ooh. They're locking it in the cemetery. How do we feel? Um. Well, then we know they're going to play the three drop creature is the problem. So. Oh, we can we can corpse cobble it away afterwards. That's cute. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I like that. So, so let that kill. happen. Mm -hmm. And then they'll probably try to play their other thing. No problem. Just counter it. Rip it, baby. The cobble's looking juicy. Yep. No attacks there. <laughs> Decline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so do you want... There is one card in white that can remove a card from your graveyard so they could get your Corpse Cobble. So do you feel like maybe you want to do that sooner rather just than Just do it later? main phase? I mean, we just died to a sorcery removal spell or something like that. Well, I don't. you don't have to do all of your dudes. You could just do, like, the Horde Zombie. We can also do an attack and leave one, like... Um, let's see... Like, if we attack with everything here, and they block two zombies, and we cobble two or three zombies... You'd have, yeah, you'd have to do it before damage, which means you couldn't cobble But we're going to cobble one. this anyway. Yeah. So it's going to be huge anyway. Yeah. And either they'll have removal or they'll die. Yep. So, yeah, we let's attack. Just attack all, and then make sure you put your sticks, because otherwise you'll, you'll lose them. Okay. You could just do it now. Just do the two they blocked plus the... Yep, and take the two damage. Yep, because this is just incidentally huge. Yep. Like, they're they're either going to kill it or they're going to fail. And it already kind of got a card value, right? Because yeah. you got the... Um, you got the um, tapped card out of, it, out of the way there. Okay. Okay. And we have two Menacers, meaning we can probably get in for the... Bat Whisperer next turn, which is cute. This feels close, though. Like, if they, if they have a removal spell, I don't feel great. It's true. There is really good... There's three blue bounce spells. Okay. No problem. Which is one of the reasons... Now you tell me this. Well, <laughs> you wanted to attack with the zombies, they were going to no, go away anyway. That's a beautiful slow roll right there. That's... Okay. No, that's, that's content. Let's go. They're taking their time. As much sippy cup as should sippy cup. Got it. God, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, I looked up and my creature's not dead. <laughs> You did look up and they were not dead. So I wonder. Okay, well, this is actually kind of nice. 
Means they don't have a great double block situation here. So we attack with a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. And when it hits, we play the Bat Whisperer. I think so. And we could crawl back the Horde. Yeah. Put it in our hand. Horde's pretty nice. All right. All right. All right. All right. Rumble. Take seven. Go to five. Bat Whisperer. Create one one bat thingy. Crawl from the cellar. Give me back this awesome card. Put, Put it the on counter the... on the two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> gorgeous. It was gorgeous. I always forget about that counter. <laughs> me, I did too. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, "You missed a point damage. You should put it on the seven seven. Look. Who, like, I'm not used to plus one, plus one counter text on my Raised Dead, okay? <laughs> I've been playing Raised Dead since beta, okay? <laughs> which? Which is which? Take it? I think? I mean, how how bad could it be? It can't be too bad. I'm just worried that if they have a removal or something on the, and then they can survive. If we like alpha here and they have a removal and, and live, then they can maybe get us on the crackbacks. We go to ten, but it's probably fine. I don't really know how bad it could be. I think it's probably fine to take. Yeah, yeah, and you know why grow their mob? Why let their mob feel good the about mob's itself? The only their cards. Yeah, yeah, I forget these things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they found it. They found the answer. Wow. Wow. We found the answer. Okay. Still not too bad. Not even a bounce spell. <laughs> well. I think that goes in the graveyard. Sure. I like that. Value. Okay. Land. Hmm. So we could attack with the 2-2, two -two, because it has Menace. We, it's definitely going to trade one for one. Yeah. We could attack with the Bat Whisperer uh -huh. and the 1-1 one -one and just try to put a clock on them. So attack all, is what you're saying? I think so. I and don't then see play any the board? Yeah. They only got one card. Board and... Uh, or we could play the Sentinel and the Angler, either one, but I think it's probably board. They might have flipped the switch. That's true. So double spell might be better. Let's attack first. Maybe they'll play something. All right. Could be a bounce spell. Okay. All right. Flash commando. So we still have to trade for the menacer, which is good yeah. for something. The 2-2 two -two is still going to do something here. I'm guessing they'll put, like, the 3-2 under it. They're going to make this mob juicy. Yeah, and then... Yep. 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 Okay. So now, what do you think? Do you think we go wider with three bodies now that they've used Two, their three, thing? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It also keeps back their entire squad, which the other two options don't. Is there anything they can draw that both removes a blocker and gives plus two, plus two? That's very specific. I don't think so. Okay. So this actually makes more power because yeah, of the decayed it, things so i think we go with the horde yeah it also stops because they don't have a um, coven anymore so it, they're three threes can't attack. all right i'm trying to do they have a way to get that back no it's going to be the little thing with the white creature okay. so just get that and that yeah seems yeah. right all right <laughs> and tense man is this for win number six it's either five or six What's it gonna be? Gold Gamer? Don't lose to no bronze. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, Gold Gamer. Where's your pride? Let's go. <laughs> All right, that's a nice top deck, to be sure. If we don't kill him. I don't think we can. I don't think it's close. Oh, they got the thing now. Oof. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. Well, they might attack. That was a good top deck to give him back Coven. Oh my goodness. Need a way to like buff these. 
Need some zombie buff action. We can maybe kill him if we draw the uh, arrogant vampire. Oh, <gasps> the arrogant outlaw? Arrogant Let's outlaw. Go, could baby. Be, could be a lethal attack. Let's go, baby. Oh, I thought it, that was it. I thought that was it. It's close. This is pretty good. Well, they, we can't actually get in damage now, so I would probably... We, we can. This is till end of turn. Oh, that's right. Kaka. Ping. Kaka, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you would play that and the angler. I like that. Two bodies is good. As long as we're playing two or three creatures a turn, they probably can't kill us. Yeah, I like that. So that's a decline, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gosh, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous, too. Kaka! <laughs> They will start being able to tap some stuff down, but we're, we're, we're progressing here more than they are. I like this. Yeah, this is fine. We'll have two flyers here. Uh, CGB one. She ain't sore about it, though. She, she, she good sport for the amount of nasty cards I drew. It was all for fun. I had to protect my belt. I had to, I had to bust out all the cards that I usually hate. Night pack ambushers. Ember Cleaves. Oh, I had to turn to the dark side. We had some really close games, too. The Brawl one was really the close. first one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the first Brawl game was really good. There, both of us were doing a lot. I felt like I got a little unlucky. Just, just, just tell, just tad. That's what it takes in magic. That's all it takes. Ooh, that card's great. What does this do? It gives double strike. We might target creature gains double strike. Yeah. When you've got coven, they're top decking real well. What a draw! And they can tap down our creature, so their flyer has double strike. They can hit us for six here. Let's see if they go for that though, because then they're down to one on the way back, and they're just dead. Because we go wide. No, wait. No, they block with everything. No, wait. Well, they'd have to tap the tapper. They'd have to tap two creatures. Yeah, they're dead. So they'd have three, leaving them. If they make that play, they're dead. Yeah. Okay. They could just attack with the flyer, and we could chump our flyer. I think we probably would want to do that. We have to, I think. Wait. It's so close then, because... Ooh, that's so close. Well, because then, so if we don't, they can tap down our biggest threat... And they would still have three blockers for our three biggest things. They would take one. That's still dead, isn't it? That still looks dead to me. I, we can't attack with this. No. So block, block, tap, block, take two to one is what I see. Yeah. If, that's what I see. It's too bad this exiles. We can't get it back to make another flying blocker. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have a way to give... So we can give a zombie plus one plus one. We can? Yeah, with the with the crawl. But they would just block that zombie. Yeah. 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 There are no timeouts here. They gotta make the play. Look at that. Look how close they are to running out of time. They're... Okay. They gave it to it itself, so they're not going to attack. Because it's got... Okay, cool. So larder zombie. Lard it up. <laughs> um, we get another lard. I I feel like we graveyard it. Wait, so three, three. Siege zombie just wins here. It does. So I think we graveyard it. Okay. Or wait, you're saying wait? This goes four deep for siege zombie. Then we have two of those. But we is but then it's not a win because we have to play the other creature. We have to. I think so. We We're can attack. One. We can get one point in through the air. But then one, we two, can't three, tap one, it. two, three. Yeah, we can. One, two, three, one, two, three, one point. Oh, they can tap one. Okay, they can tap one. Well, we could still siege zombie in response to that. But I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think we might be okay I then. I think we've been it. Okay. I think we've been it. I love how they your go when they're the one with no timeouts. Right? <laughs> siege zombie, there's two in the deck. You're right, though. The deluge would have gotten us close to it. Ah! Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So 
So they can tap tap hit us for six, but they can't win. Right? Not with what's on the board. No, I don't think so. So we should go to combat and see what they tap, I think. Do we have anything in the bin that can come back for for no. three mana? Uh, the occultist, uh, no, which isn't great. Enough. Yeah. So I think we just, do we just attack with the flyers and hope they don't draw a pump spell? I think so. And then play our big... This has first strike. Okay, so like this doesn't want to get in. This could attack. It could, but I'm worried about them killing us on the crackbacks. Don't forget the little zombies can't block. Yeah, but I mean, if they block, they lose a potential cracker backer. It's true. And it would probably be the mob. It is a lethal attack, so they have to block. That's true. Yeah, they would probably block with the mob. Uh, I think they would probably block with a 2-3 and just chump it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, but if they do that, then yeah, they're down a creature and now... Yeah, I think that's good. The big thing is here, what do they tap, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm also partly worried they come up with a, like a removal spell. Or a pump spell. Because if, if we attack with the flyers and they get a pump spell... Well, oh, I mean, if we're playing around them drawing perfect, it's gonna... Okay. It's just not gonna happen, you know? They have drawn perfect three, three turns in a row. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could... Yeah. We're gonna get two points in. And then we have three attackers, they have four blockers. Okay. So do we want to lard? We could lard for lard info. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this will leave us only with two blockers and they can tap one of them down. Yeah. So that's pretty scary, but we're going to play another. That, that's what well, I'm mean, including. Oh, that, yeah, the larder zombie. Okay. So then the one thing has flying and first strike. So that they would hit us for six, nine damage. If they I think we make them commit to that. Nine damage. You know, I think we attack with this. If they hit a removal spell, a bounce spell, we're dead. Yeah, I think we make them tap this. Yeah. Okay. I think we can attack for just one. I like that better. Play your thing. There's so many things that would kill us. Because we can't block the, um... The witch? Yeah. Well, they have to commit, they have to be able to tap it, and they have to remove something else. Well, I meant if, when you were thinking about attacking with the bat, we, we would die to any bounce or, or, um, removal or... I mean, they're moving in. Let's see what they got. Did they draw a pump of some kind? Plus... They're going in with everything. Okay, we gotta block it all. Yes, we do. Strike doesn't kill this and block there. Did they did they draw the plus two plus O oh guys? Well, if they did, no, they didn't. If they, if they did, there was no stick. Oh, there wasn't. I don't think so. All right, we'll find out. Yes. They shouldn't have any sort of post combat drain in those colors. Done. Woo. Wow. Dude. It, the game was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you gotta do to be a bronze one. <laughs> Holy crap, man. It's competitive magic over here. Dude, I'm sweaty. Best of That's one so sweating. <laughs> I'm ready to go to dinner, but I also kind of ride in this high. We like, are. I think we have one more game if we win, right? Do we? 6 0. Oh. We're trying to close it? I think so. Do we go for it? I think so. How do you how do you throw away the hot hand, right? I how mean, you... you draw perfect three lands, four spells every game. Every game. Is that like a fashion person? I don't know. I think it is. Maybe. Oh, <gasps> you didn't draw well. This is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you do have an extra draw with the novice eventually. Streamer luck, are you gonna get there? You tell me. I don't know. You're going to keep two double blues on the play with two black? No way, right? No you're, way. You're the lucky one, I feel like. You're leaving you this to me. I am. You're leaving this to me. I oh. Am. oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Okay. That's keeps. On the play, I think we keep flip. 
I think this undoes the mulligan. So it's either this or this. Yeah. We're on the play, so there's a chance maybe Siege Zombie gets in, and then the Storm Kirk Blood thing actually is kind of a big threat. And these are kind of a combo. Yeah. Best common in the in the format going to yeah. the bottom. Well, okay. we're gonna deluge through our entire deck anyway. Easy, easy mode. Easy mode. We're definitely drawing land off the top. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Streamer luck. Get out of here with that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't have a grizzly bear. No grizzly bear. Cool. Ayo. Oh, are they gonna tap me? They could also pump it, but I doubt it. And maybe they tap it. You're maybe you're right. Maybe they tap. It. They didn't tap me. <gasps> I like this. this is cool. Nope. 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 I don't like my siege zombie stormkirk blood chief combo. Thank you. Ooh, we could just play the stormkirk if they play something, and then just ping and get him. Yeah, get him. Ooh, do you think they have another one? I think they're gonna tap this. They might have another one. Let's, well, let's just play around it. Let's play land and see what... Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's mm. true. Maybe we just be more aggressive and stop being yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah, like it. Do I attack with this, though? Yeah, let's go to combat, see what they do. Okay. I was thinking we might have wanted to play the thing first. Like right. In response, we could ping. Was the only thing I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, but I like finding out if they're gonna commando us again. I don't know. Maybe you're right about. You're probably right about that. Let's be honest. I don't think so. Okay, seems good. So I think we just attack with the blade. They can't block. They have no. Yeah, good they they get flanked. Yeah. They get flankinged. Maybe they think it's only one, and we get we get to just eat it for free. Maybe they don't read the card. Okay. So now we just. Yeah, I like this. Target vampire. Okay. I don't think I have any other vampires. It's just always targeting itself. Yeah, that's okay. We have the four-two vampire. Dude, she she's so she looks so cool. She is. I want her on the on my roller derby team. I'm gonna recruit <laughs> it her. Does look kind of roller derby esque. I'm, I'm recruiting her. <laughs> that's just talent right there. You guys, this is the six. We're going for the undefeated draft here. I know, but we're so loose. We're making jokes the whole time. We should probably focus. Like, how do I lose this game? We did mulligan. Ooh, that's pretty okay, good. they're going wide. If they have a like a pump squad effect, this is terrifying. Yeah, their deck does have them. There's one really good uncommon one. Oh, that's great. Take that. I'm just thinking. Do we try to? I think. I mean, this keeps going in. Yeah, right? I think we just attack with that, and then we could flip it to day night, and then deluge if you wanted. Yeah. It's such a hard card to block. Seems okay. I am worried about a mass pump though. There is one that's plus one, plus one. Unless you have Coven, it's plus two, plus yep. one against the whole board. Yep, that and seems that like a lights out. Would mess us up. I thought that card might be standard playable. That's why I remember it. Wolfie. They might be play scared to play it if we're sticking, though, with just open mana. Ooh. So, if we, they could still tap our thing down mm -hmm. and attack with everything. Yeah. So do we get the point of damage in here and not force them to tap? If I do that, they're going to get in with all the 1-1s. One they're they, going to do that anyway with the tap. But, yeah, but they want to tap this. Yes, I agree. I, I don't want them to have, I want them to have to tap if they want to get in so we can swing on the crack back. So we let this die. I think we let this die. And then if they want to get in with the one ones, okay, cool. Make it count, my my baby. Make it count. It's pretty good. Okay. I this kinda, gets it back. Yeah, I kind of like crawl in that guy. Let's be honest. That Just drain him. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. All right, so do we attack with the thing again? That's going to get tapped. It's going to get tapped, you're right. Well, okay. So then in response, we tap... Drain them. Drain them. Play the other two things. Play the outlaw and we have a zombie, zombie or the larder zombie. It's a siege zombie. Just in case. Okay. It's more mana efficient. Oh, God. It's actually going to be... 
it's kind of scary with this board, right? They have so much going on. It is kind of dependent on if they even have that pump spell, which yeah, it's uncommon. I'm not playing this deck without it. I'd draft anything else in my <laughs> anything else, <laughs> anything else. All right, this looks good. And then we just snap block away the Defiant, and we should be good. The Arrogant? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Look at the top three. Reveal a creature put into your hand. Flashback. Hand of Low Witch. They got a Homestead Courage in the graveyard. So they're doing a lot of things. They are indeed doing a lot of things. I'm getting nervous. They want the Captain to come in. I'm happy to block them. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Like so? I think so. Unless think. we want to use it. I don't think we want to use it for tapping. I think I just do this, yeah. Here's something I found on the web. Oh, nobody's talking to you, Alexa. To Alexa, shut your pie hole. We're playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they have to tap it down again. Yeah, they got to do that. And then we're going to... I have to remember this plus one, plus one counter and where we want it. Yeah. I, I'm thinking maybe on the larder, actually. I think we want to put it on to... Yeah, maybe the larder. But do we have enough to do everything? Crawl. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay, cool. Okay. Yep. So then we probably play zombie first. Huh? Did I miss something? Do we use... I think we use that to... Yep. Like this, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to tap the larder if I'm going to put the counter on it. Because I think it's a, no, it's a deece blocker. No blocks. So, larder first. Yep, 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 yep. I got you. got you. me. I got you. You got me. Get him! Come on! Get him! Land. If we draw another land, we can get it back again and play it. Yep. For lethal. Yep. You. Come on, baby. Let's go, arrogant. You not... We just need, yeah, three more creatures or two more turns of this, and we got it. We actually have it next turn, regardless of what happens. Oh, yeah, that's right. End step and then so, as long as we don't block. Yeah. Which we might have to if they have a pump spell. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we see their whole, we see everything. They're dead. They're dead. Music can't go 7 0. Oh. Have we ever 7 0 Uh. I don't think I'm we 7 0 sure. I'm pretty, I'm 99% that we never 7 0 I know that we've hit seven a few times. Just don't forget to ping. It's, what? No, I'm too busy dancing. I, I can't be bothered to make the play. <laughs> Rip it. I don't think they have anything they can gain life from. So. This, this, if they, yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, so I think just ping. <laughs> it's scary. Let's go. They're doing the thing now. In response, do the thing. In response. <laughs> In responses, you die. Death on the stack, baby. What? Hell yes. Seven oh. oh. So it... you remember you told me you took those twelve draft tokens and you threw them in the trash. Don't you're we're in our moment of triumph. You're gonna bring this back. Have you ever met a woman? Yes. <laughs> I just forget sometimes my place. I'm sorry, go on. Please. <laughs> Accost and ridicule me now. It is an appropriate time. <laughs> explain the joke for everybody who wasn't here. No, that's it. No, you have to. Oh, we have to. You have to explain CGB the joke. CGB had 12 draft tokens and retired them all. Look how much free value we could have had. <laughs> how much fun we could have had. We could have been 7 0 ing all, all week. All week. We could have done one of these all the time. Look, chat loved it. You guys liked it, right? And, and instead, what did I do with it? I top left drafted. And then retired. I binge top left drafted 12 draft token entries in one night. Which is like $100 <laughs> worth of drafting. <laughs> I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.